Tuesday Shop Talk, everybody. I just want to tell you before I get into the regular stuff, I'll tell you what I did. I went inside. I don't know what made me want to do this, but I went inside and picked out some all the budget-friendly knives, just the what I could carry. I put in my bag. And uh, I came across all the ones like $40 to $20. You know, I'm here. We're all, we're all buying them. We're using them. You're seeing how good they are. This is like that $20 Lynx gear. I got another one coming. I bought this just to customize and do the scales and to throw. And this is a solid knife. So what I did, I took all these and did that one, the Swiss Tech Stollern. I threw that. Here's a fleece I did tiger striping on. This is the one with G G10 scales. Here's a fleece. This is just a fixed blade knife is all they call it. And uh, I've had that one a little while. Comes great sheath right there. Here's your uh, Swiss Tech halt bar. Now this is VG10. The others are D2 steel or OS 8 steel. And then here's the brother. This is the F017, I believe. I did the scales on there and the tiger striping. But what I did, I took these all out. Also did the custom sheath. I just realized that. Okay, I took all these out there and threw them. I did a short video real quick, threw them, and I'm just letting everybody know that they don't have to spend a fortune you know, I leave this one out here because I always throw it every day. <laughs> it's just, it's here. Uh, not that one, Steve. This one, Lynx Gear. You, they don't, you don't have to spend a fortune to get a knife that's, that'll serve you in a, like camping out, hiking. Uh, this one right here is 25 bucks. It's a Fleesa. Nice little leather sheath. Swiss Tech, we all heard about that, the Stollern. And the brother, I just showed you that. So, I did a short video just throwing those, and then I wasn't doing that walking back and forth that drives people crazy while I'm testing a knife. But then I saw this, this is my favorite uh, Swiss Tech so far. I think they're coming out with another one I thought it was supposed to be today. But this is the Craft Tig, and this is my favorite. This is my favorite. It has that traction coating they do. Just an awesome knife. Let's see, this one's D2 steel. Heavy duty, really nice sheath. And I put a ferrule rod on it. That's an Orla ferrule rod. Put that in the bag. And then I brought this out to throw to test it, uh, but I didn't get a chance. I gotta go inside. I'll throw it tomorrow. This is that uh, Olden Wolf Ambulo. Okay, I did the uh, scales yesterday, so I got rid of the hot spots. And it feels great, but I did want to see if it was uh, balanced. I'll throw this tomorrow. Okay, that's a really nice kit, nice setup, fantastic knife. I'm gonna buy some more from them. That's Olden Wolf knives. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, first of all, I took that broken scales on that Okoe River $9, $10 traditional pocket knife, and I took the leftover purple materials that I did the D Perkin Damascus, and I did this, this today. Took a couple hours, so I was able to use it up. And I'm glad I, I was gonna go up to Tractor Supply and something told me just check in, check in, the, uh, in the knife drawer. I have a knife drawer with the inexpensive uh, traditional knives. And some of them, has, they had the slips I've been making or did make, I'm, I wanna practice making slips again. Um, but yeah, this came out, I thought it came out really good. Everything functions great, nice snap. And uh, it came out cheaper me than me going to uh, Tractor Supply because I saved gas. So yeah, that's the uh, purple micarta. I thought that looks pretty good with the brass and the, sat the uh, satin mirror polish finish, actually. Very inexpensive knife. It just, that's rewarding when I uh, can take an inexpensive knife like that and kind of do a step up on it. I feel like it. 
you can tell the difference holding them. You can tell the difference in the weight versus this. Okay, now this look like, this is like imitation abalone. It's not the real thing, so don't worry, I didn't tear that up. But yeah, that's what that was. Now we're getting to uh, the frustrating thing, but that's okay, it's my first one. The good news is I found out something this morning, I just gotta save up for it. You know what I mean? It's about $60. But here is my leather sheath I made. Uh, there's the saw grunt that's so, that's so big. Uh, before I take all this out and show you, there you go. There's the belt loop. Fits perfect on my belt, right height. Uh, the mistake I made, this uh, burnishing gum, you need it, I need to keep it in the area that I'm, I'm burnishing because it gets up on the edges. See right there? It could become a messy job. Now, I really like this because I did put an eyelet here and an eyelet here. And the double stitching, I call it double stitching, is I did two threads going through. Um, then when I went to uh, put the sheen on there, <clears throat> it didn't take the first time really good. I think it's because I did the conditioner yesterday. So I kind of had to really work at it to, to rub everything out and get it to where I find it acceptable, it works. This knife will actually go on my display, but yeah, it, it fits way down in there really nice. Uh, so that other sheath went back inside the house, and there it is. Now, this is what I found out. I'm really excited about it. This stamp I got, the skull, y'all seen it. You gotta heat it up, and really it's wood burning. They say leather, but I've just been really frustrated with it. And uh, the black, you know, it is, the black is, that's what it is. If I had done this on the tan, so you can see the side grunt, but you gotta really look at it. You see how deep that went? Well, what I'm gonna do, I got a side, I saved it, I actually have it in my cart. I gotta take it out of the cart because they sent me an email. Uh, it's about 60 bucks for the size I want. I wanna get about that size, not quite this, about half that size and they make the stamp. You guys that do your leather work, you know what it is. It's a stamp that I'll just stamp the leather, okay? There's no heating it up or anything. It stamps the leather, it's made for the leather. And I I loaded up the my design off my phone and sent it, it was all ready to go, and it was like 60 bucks. I thought, well, wait a minute. Y'all know I'm on a budget right now since I retired. So I gotta take my priorities. Uh, that's on my wish list now, but I am gonna get, I wanna get another, I know, don't don't laugh, I wanna get me another, because they're fun and it's solid. I wanna get another buck 110, they go about 64 bucks, I can get them for. I wanna get another buck 110 brand new, and I got some uh, material, uh, handle material I wanna do on it. I think it's gonna look awesome. But between that and this, or the stamp, the leather stamp. But I do want to get a leather stamp. Uh, I'm not discouraged. Uh, this is, the, the, the grunt em emblem is hit hideous. It really is when it's that big. But yeah, that's the grunt one. Custom fixed blade knife. This is 1066 high carbon steel. It's a blank I got from BPS. You can order blanks. And I did the scales for it. And I didn't have a sheath for it, so I made a sheath. And this is that taco style. I wanna do uh, the other type. I got a couple of knives. I wanna try it out. I wanna try uh, make uh, some boot knife sheaths. Try that out. But anyway, I'm gonna get inside. It's really hot out here. Uh, I didn't mean to spend that much time out here today. Didn't know I was going to, but I just ended up doing it. Y'all take care and sog out.